You can now create your own version of ChatGPT and soon sell it to millions of users. And best of all, it's all without coding or difficult technical steps. Let me show you how. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pascal and I'm an IT consultant based in the Netherlands. In November of 2023, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has released an update that revolutionizes the way ChatGPT is used. This update brought us custom GPTs. A custom GPT is basically a version of ChatGPT that allows you to upload your own documents to it and ask questions about it. And this basically allows everyone with a Plus subscription to create their own version of ChatGPT trained on their own documents. And the great thing about this is that you don't need any technical knowledge. And this is what Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, had to say about it when they announced the update. GPTs are tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. You can build a GPT, a customized version of ChatGPT for almost anything with instructions, expanded knowledge and actions, and then you can publish it for others to use. You can make private GPTs like I just did, or you can share your creations publicly with a link for anyone to use. Or if you're on ChatGPT Enterprise, you can make GPTs just for your company. Back in November, OpenAI also announced the fact that they were going to release a GPT store in which users could sell their own version of GPT to millions of users. And later this month, we're gonna launch the GPT store. You can list a GPT there and we'll be able to feature the best and the most popular GPTs. We're gonna pay people who build the most useful and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. But due to the politics that were going on and OpenAI, the GPT store was delayed. All of that is behind us now because the GPT store has been released and I'm going to show you how to create your own custom GPT. All right, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to open up ChatGPT. So navigate to chat.openai and make sure that you're on the plus subscription. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the arrow that is here on the left side. When you click on that arrow, it will open the sidebar, show you all the chats that you have been working on. But one of the things that we're going to look for is the explore tab, which is right over here. And when we click on the explore tab, we see my GPTs over here with the option to create a GPT, but also the recently used ones and the ones that are made by OpenAI. And if you're opening this for the first time, you get a small tutorial and you won't see this many GPTs. But that doesn't matter for now. Let's go into how you can create your own GPT. So let's go to create a GPT. And now we're basically welcomed by a screen that has two options for us. We can create a custom GPT with the create tab over here, or we can go here to the configure tab. And these are actually quite different because the create tab allows you to build a custom GPT through communication with ChatGPT, and the configure tab allows you to fill in the information by yourself. And so let's first click on the configure tab and then you will see what I mean. So here at the configure tab, we see that you can fill in a name. You can write the name of your GPT. And at the top over here, you can upload a profile picture. You can give a description, some instructions about what the GPT is going to do and how it should behave. You can enter some conversation starters. And knowledge is basically the most powerful feature of custom GPTs, because this is basically the set of documents that you upload that GPT then can access in order to answer your questions. So that is definitely something that the standard version of a GPT couldn't do before. So you can, of course, upload multiple documents right over here. And you can also tell what kind of capabilities ChatGPT or your custom GPT can use. So will we allow it to browse the web? Will we allow it to create images? And are we going to allow it to use code interpreter, which is basically the way that ChatGPT can analyze data. And you should also be very careful here when you're going to upload documents. Make sure that these documents are anonymous. So that means that they won't contain names of your clients, for example. Because OpenAI has mentioned that they're still training the models based on everything that is uploaded to the servers. 
And if you want to know what kind of mistakes can happen from that, well, check out this video right over here because I explained what happened to Samsung employees in, that, in Korea. Let me now show you the conversational way of building your own GPT. So the GPT builder says, hey, you're back. Let's continue where we've left off. And I'll just pretend it's like a normal conversation. Hey, so it basically says, how can I assist you today? Let's see if this works. I said that I want to build a custom GPT that recommends birthday gifts and then also includes Amazon links to the products in order for me to buy them. And then it took a little while, but then it set up the basic information for this GPT to work. And here on the right side, what you basically see is my version of the custom GPT already. So that's the preview on the right side. And on the left side, you have the conversation or the configure tab in order to create that preview. So the first thing that it wants to do, it wants to help me to decide a name. Well, Gift Guru is their recommendation. Let's go for it. When we were going through the configure tab, there was this topic called conversation starters. These things on the, on the right side here, what are their hobbies, any favorite color, what is their age? Those kind of things are the conversation starters. Well, these aren't really good yet, but we can of course change them in the configure tab or through the conversation. GPT Builder also created a profile picture for our new custom GPT. So in the meantime, I'm just talking to the custom GPT in order to set it up. And then I'm going to show you the end result. All right, so I've been testing this simple custom GPT. Let me walk you through it. So this custom GPT should recommend birthday gifts. One of the things that is important is of course the budget, for whom it is, maybe the age for, of the person and their interests. So I told the custom GPT that my budget is $100. It is for a 30 year old male who loves technology. And Gift Guru came back with a few ideas, basically a smart home assistant, a wireless charging station, a VR headset, an organizer bag for technology, and a subscription to a tech magazine. Well, the only subscription that you definitely need when you are into technology is a subscription to the channel. <laughs> And after having received those recommendations, I asked for the links to the Amazon pages. And Gift Guru basically said that they found a suitable wireless charging station for multiple devices. And there's also a link over here. So let's click it and see if it actually makes sense. Clicking on the link brings me to Amazon with a bunch of products for me to choose from. It is actually correct because these are all the wireless charging stations and here's the five in one, probably the one that the custom GPT was talking about. And unfortunately for the other products, no links were found. In this case, I believe the more specific you are, with setting up your custom GPT, the better its performance is. Well, let's go once more to the configure tab and I'll show you what actually happened on the backend of this custom GPT. So clicking on the configure tab, we now see that the name gift guru was actually entered. There's the image that was created and the description of the custom GPT as well. And here are the instructions to the GPT which is basically all created by GPT itself. So your recommendations should be unbiased, uh, not promoting specific brands for commercial gain. Well, that's quite interesting. I never specifically said that, but I guess that is part of the GPT now. Of course, if I would like to change that and I would like always it to be recommending a specific brand, I could do that here as well. The conversation starters, which we talked about in the beginning are here, so I can definitely change them as well. So for this custom GPT, we don't really have any knowledge uploaded to it, but let's say that you create a custom GPT that helps users pick a camera for their YouTube adventure. Well, then you would upload in the knowledge section, the different product specifications for each of the cameras. And in the instructions, you would mention that the user is looking for a camera and you would describe the different use cases. And then when the user uses your custom GPT, it will look at the documents that are uploaded, look at the specific use case and recommend a camera based on that. And let's say that you are now happy with your custom GPT. Let's save it and I'll show you how. So go to the top right corner over here, click save, and now we can choose only me, anyone with a link or everyone. And when we hover over everyone, we see the following tooltip. This GPT may appear in the GPT store. And this is of course why we're going to make a cool GPT and sell it to millions of users. But before we do that, also make sure that the other settings are right. When you click on this pen over here, you are going to be brought to the 
settings and these are the GPT settings. And what you can do over here is you, you can basically set a name. You can disable or enable your company name. You can enable or disable a website, but of course you also need to have a verified domain to enable a website link. And there's also a setting that allows you to receive support emails. And these settings are specifically important because if you check that you would like to receive support emails, it could mean that millions of users that are going to use your custom GPT are going to send you support tickets if they encounter any difficulties. So make sure that you think about this ahead. And once you press confirm, you get the link to your custom GPT that you can share with your friends. And there you have it. You have now created your own custom GPT. And I'm actually quite curious what you guys will come up with. So once you have created your own custom GPT, make sure to share the link in the comments below and I'll have a look at it. And I'm going to create a video series in which I will cover the best and most creative custom GPTs that I come across. So make sure to create a cool custom GPT. And if you want to get some inspiration about what kind of GPTs you can make, make sure to watch this video over here. And then I'll see you in the next one.